Are you ready to create a life you crave? Let's spin that doom loop of negativity into an upward success cycle and start living lucky. Good morning. I'm Jana. I'm Jason. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and the days of old lang syne? Which nobody knows what the heck that means. <laughs> That's funny. Nobody knows. We sing the words. We have no idea There's what There's like it eight means. people that know the actual words of the song. Like, I don't know most of the words, but I know the rhythm of the song. Auld Lang Syne. Auld Lang Syne. It's a Scottish term. Is that saying about um, the old times? Let's remember the old times. Auld or? is a, means old. Auld means old. Lang Syne is... Good times. Okay, so old, the, the, the good times of the past. Good times of the past. So should we forget the good times of the past or should we rejoice? And did recognize- you just say rejoice? I did. I got a little tongue tied. <laughs> there's a lot in that song. So it's, uh, and I think we're talking about having an optimistic start to the new year, right? Do you have an optimistic view of 2024? That's really what we're talking about. Do you feel optimistic? Because whether you do or whether you don't, you're right. And that is what you are going to create this year. So whether or not you feel optimism for 2024 or whether you don't, that is what you are going to experience. Yes. there's a That reminds me of the book, As a Man Thinketh. And it, there's a quote. So it is law. It is law. So if you, if you are determined that you're going to have an optimistic year... That's what have, you will have. Have the optimistic year. Don't let someone else tell you differently. That is true. And one of the beautiful things about this song is it kind of talks about coming, like recognizing the things that have happened in the past. Okay. We didn't really know this until right before the yeah, podcast. We, Googled we actually <laughs> Googled and printed out the song. So I don't want you to think that we're just a bunch of, song of experts. nerdy know-it-alls. Yeah, we're definitely not. So we Googled it because it's it has that... We sing it every year, and oftentimes we don't know what it means, but it says... Yeah, often, all the time. Can we remember the old times and have a drink with each other, like rejoice and kind of talk about those, the good times? Mm -hmm. And in Living Lucky, what we recognize is that everything that has brought us to here is preparing us for where we're going. So all okay, the wait, times you kind of past... You kind of mushed. So the song talks about... Having a drink in the past well, with your old friends. It's having a drink and, and toasting to the good old days. Okay. Okay. So that's those are the lyrics to the song. We're paraphrasing yeah. big time. So and if you're having a drink and toasting to the good old days, mm -hmm. sometimes we, we look back and it's like 20 years ago. Like I remember when I was in my prime or I remember these specific moments that were good and not giving the credit to yesterday or not giving credit to some of the times that we say are the worst things that ever happened to me and realizing that those even those moments created resilience persistence like created the person that's i am that's radical today. gratitude is yes. what that is and that's why i love your tedx because it makes you start thinking of okay well it shows you how all the dots connect together and that's i think what this big theme behind Auld Lang Syne is, is seeing that it's not just a couple moments of time that were great in the past. Mm -hmm. Everything that has come to today has led us to where we are, and it gives us the strength and the stamina to go to wherever we want to go. This is really deep. I it, So this is Jason's take <laughs> on the song Auld Lang Syne. And we, we approach this new year, this new beginning, do you, I I I'm very very intrigued. What else did you get from that song? One of the, the main thing is is that the dots connect, and when we take the time to pause and reflect, you and know, with zoom a friend, out, yeah, and reflect with a friend or in our journals or just self reflect on how did I get here? 
Like you what know, were the, the moments that I are defining myself and say, are they, am I defining myself in the negativity or am I finding, defining myself in the victories that have got landed me here? I have often talked about when you're in the, the frame, you don't always see the whole picture. Yeah. It's almost like, so Jason just took a, a drink of his water. Have you ever tried to read the label of a bottle of water? while you're looking through the water bottle. Yeah, it's very difficult. Have you ever done that? Yes. So like pretend you're the water living inside the water bottle and you're trying to read the label and and you're thinking, oh my gosh, like this is crazy. It's backwards and you're, you're trying to read what's on the, the label and it's, it's distorted because it's in the shape of a, a convex, concave, whatever it is. And you're actually looking through the bubbles of the water and you're thinking, this is, this is just ludicrous. It's difficult. (laughs) And that's kind of, that's kind of what we do sometimes is we try to evaluate our lives while we're inside it in the in the emotion or in the moment and things sometimes look big and distorted and like we're looking through water and looking at the label backwards and trying our, to read it and our emotions though they're great guides often distort the the label and really what we need really to do happening. is get outside of the water bottle and look at it from the actual person that's drinking it. Oh, so big. Right? Yes. And then then you can kind of get a better, clearer vision of what's really happening because inside that, that bottle. Because it's not happening to you anymore. It's happening for you. Yes. It's a, it, it's changing from objective to subjective. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And, and I feel like exactly what you were right. saying about, you know, um, this song, you can kind of zoom out a little bit and connect the dots. Yeah. And we're moving towards, whenever we move into this new, uh, most people, I would say, for me especially, coming into a new year is almost like that rebirth, that that um, a new season. Mm-hmm. And we go into these new seasons and rebirths as, I'm so excited because this is what's going to happen. This is what, what I'm going to do. And I've already made these, these small changes in who I'm becoming to really embrace this newness because we talked about it in the last podcast that when, once you decide who you're becoming, just do it instead of putting it off into a future date. But when I, when I get into this newness and then I start getting hit by resistance and obstacles, then do do I allow my optimism for the new year and for who I'm becoming to wane? Or do I em- embrace it more fully and say, no, this is who I am. And this is the experience that I'm going to have this year and keep celebrating my victories, celebrating. Okay. Where so I'm then going. the question becomes, how do I sustain my optimism? So the first question that we're asking is, do you believe, do you believe do you have optimism? Do yeah. you have optimism for 2024? Do you believe that a good year is ahead of you and is possible for you? And do you believe it? Because you have to believe it yourself. You have to believe it above all other things. So that is your responsibility to believe it. And if you're looking back and you're saying, I don't because every year has been the same. I come, I do this and I do that and it all turns out the same at the end. It feels like I just keep beat down every year. Well, you have to change either your thought pattern, your belief pattern, or your actions to get a different result. And and we've we've also talked about one easy way to do that, besides working with a coach like Jason, is to just simply turn it to a question. Mm. How how can I find optimism yes. in my life this year? Right. Because so often we disempower ourselves by why didn't the year turn out the way I wanted it to? Why does this always happen to me? Instead of how is this happening for me? Mm-hmm. And how can I have the year that I I really want? Like what are the where are the opportunities? We start looking for how we were injured instead of how we were growing. And then the second question that we brought up, so uh, let's just tie this all up in a button, is how do we sustain 
that optimism mm. because like you said, we're all going to get punched in the face. <laughs> yes. Or kicked in the balls. <laughs> you I, feel it. I, I mean, it's, it's true. I hate to break it to you. Every plan is perfect until it meets resistance. Until you get kicked in the balls. That's right. <laughs> so how so, do we sustain it? And how do we, how do we maintain this, uh, a positive mental outlook on life mm-hmm. and know that life is actually working for us and happening for us instead of happening to us and working against us. And again, which we mentioned earlier, is it's finding gratitude. It's finding yes. gratitude for how it, how we learned, how we grew, how we became a better person in the face of adversity. Yeah, and who who are you surrounding yourself with? Like what type of information are you taking into your system? Because if you're focused on the negative, if you're focused on what's happening to other people in the negative realm, Mm -hmm. like watching the news, then you're going to start kind of putting a blanket over your positivity thinking, oh God, the chicken little, the world's coming to an end. I also though, (laughs) I also think there's a little more to sustaining the optimism because I have found and we can go into this in a, a in another podcast. <laughs> However, I really think if you start really dialing in on what is fun and if you really mm. start dialing in on what your why is, I mean there's a there's a lot more to it, you know, and and like I said, in this in twenty twenty four. Oh my god, can you believe it's twenty twenty four? I love it. That's in store for twenty twenty four. Okay, Jason's got all kinds of corny little, little rhymes. <laughs> it's my new jingle. However, I think that when we can really start awakening hmm. the passion and the fun and some of those some of those chemicals, some of those dopamine and serotonin for life. Yes. Some of those awakening, uh, they're chemicals that get released in our brain when we start feeling the energy. Your body is a beautiful pharmacy within itself. It's the best. Oftentimes we tend to, if we're focused in the negative, we're going to get the negative chemicals because our body's going, Oh, this is what my, Mm -hmm. my vessel is is wanting right now. Look where they're, they're focused. Yeah. And at some point we just have to make a choice. Who do I want to be? Who do I want to be? And, and what we, we attract what we are. Oh gosh. We attract what we are. So let's just decide. Let's just decide. Let's make a decision. I'm going to be kick ass this year. That's right. And if you need help staying in that positivity, that optimistic Pathway. And I mean that in a good way. Kick ass is a good thing. Yeah, and, <laughs> and not in a, um, what do they call it, the, mm. the toxic positivity? Because that's not what we're about. No. But we're about believing in you, believing in what you're doing, believing in our circumstances, believing in the people around us. So if you need help getting into that and staying on the path, that's what we're here for. We're here for that three times a week. We're here for that in our coaching, and we're here for that in Jana's speeches. Ooh, ooh, I love it. I love it. Let's get fierce. Let's get fierce this year. Mm. We need to come up with a word for the year. All right, let's do it. What what comes to mind when I say that for you? I, I really liked fierce. Like that came up. Early. Right? I mean, yeah. that just came out of my mouth. And it feels like that might be that might be me in twenty twenty four. To me, I like I know ins- it doesn't rhyme. Inspired. I like um Yeah. I like I want to live into pick that word and in the micro moments of life make your decisions based on that word. So it comes down to what's, what's your biggest value for this year? Yeah. What is yours? Yeah. So mine is my biggest value I think is showing up. And for me, it's authenticity and vulnerability. Oh, oh, that means we get to ask him anything (gasps) and he has to tell the truth. Uh, this is gonna like be, Wonder Woman yeah. with her lasso. <laughs> this it's gonna is, be a fun year. This is gonna be fun. You're not gonna want to miss a single podcast. I will make it well worth your time. <laughs> well worth it. Uh, Look out, cause here I come. Ah, uh, and I'm gonna be fierce. Amen. Fierce. I love it. Uh, all right. Thanks for joining us. And woo, we have a good year. Stay optimistic. Optimistic, whether you believe it or not. You're, you're right. right. Bye bye. If the idea of living lucky appeals to you, visit us at startlivinglucky.com.